I think one of the questions in the tutorial book, uh, they sort of hinting in that direction. They don't take you all the way to the Kramer's rule, but they're hinting in that direction. Uh, I don't, unfortunately, I don't remember which one. Uh, but here it is. Uh, imagine you have a system of two unknowns, two equations with two unknowns, general system. We know such a system, if I have such a system, it will be looking like this. First equation, second equation. In principle, we can solve this system via Gaussian elimination method, even though probably if you, anyone in this class is, is facing an actual system with two unknowns and two equations, I don't think you will be bothered, bothered going Gaussian elimination way. Just some, you probably will come up with some ad hoc solutions straight away. However, what I'm wondering actually, if anyone in this class ever tried to come up with a general answer for this system, like a formula, like for, the, for instance, if you have a quadratic equation, you have this formula which gives you the answer straight away. You, everyone remembers those formulas, right? Do you, it does you, and well, anyone in this class, uh, did you ever try to come up with the formula for the two times two system? Just out of curiosity. Well, one of the questions in the yellow book actually does exactly that and asks exactly that to come up with the general formula. Uh, if you haven't, I'll show you the formula. Here they are. If you solve the system in any way, Gaussian elimination any other way, the solution you will come up with, I mean, if you just forget about this non-solvable non systems, you know, multiple solutions, just you do it totally like, you know, re regardless of those uh, subtleties, let's say. Then just formally speaking, the formula for the answer will be like so. And that is actually the content of one of the tutorial questions. I don't remember which one. If I will, when I will be uploading the videos, well, maybe I will make a note which question is that if I won't forget. Well, the determinants actually give you a very nice answer to the way to remember these formulas. And not only that, actually, they give you the way to solve the system if you remember this. Look at this. If you change your, if you look at this number, for instance, at the bottom, if you look at the number, by the way, if you do it properly, formally with all of the verifications you have to complete this you have to complete these two formulae with the claim that this formulae work only if the denominator is not zero and that would be the case which corresponds to the row echelon form having all leading columns on the left hand side so you have a unique solution case in any other case this formula doesn't make any don't, don't make any sense <coughs> But if this number at the bottom happens to be non-zero, then the formula is perfectly applicable, and you can use them as long as you can remember them. And determinants give you a very efficient way of remembering this formula. Because if you look at this number at the bottom, just a number at the bottom, this is a product of these two numbers, and the minus the product of these two numbers. This is a determinant of the two times two matrix like this. The importance of this determinant is emphasized by the fact that normally we reserve a special letter to denote the determinant. We call it delta. And we call it the principal determinant of the associated system of linear equations. And when this determinant is non-zero, this system has a unique solutions. Just think about that. You no longer need, just to answer the question whether the system has a unique solution, rather than going the row echelon form way, and finding how many pivots you have on the left hand side, you can just compute the determinant of the principal. I mean, you just can compute the principal determinant of the system. And by testing if it is zero or non zero, the answer will be readily available for you. Computationally, I wouldn't say this is much better than row echelon form. Probably it won't be. But still, it's, it's, it, it is an alternative way of doing things. Now, how do we remember the top, I mean, the enumerators in these two formulae? For those two, look how, how, what's the method Kramer's invented. He said, if I now introduce the determinant delta 1, where I replace the first column with the right-hand side. See? I just put the right-hand side instead of the first column. Then the determinant of this matrix, it is the enumerator for the first unknown. Well, similarly, if you replace the second column with the right-hand side, and if you compute the determinant of this new matrix, 
that will that will be the enumerator for my second unknown. And here comes the very beautiful, simple, very simple to remember principle. That the solution to your system will be the quotients of this type, where the determinants at the top, at the bottom, sorry, where determinant at the bottom is the principal determinant of the system, and the ones at the top, they are the determinants which are obtained from the main one by crossing out the column corresponding to the unknown and filling the gaps with the right-hand side. That's what is called the Kramer's rule. I don't know how he came up with that, but it's a beautiful way. Actually, I probably I know how he came up with that. One day, probably you'll discover the, the actual reasons why this happens. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful proof, actually. Really, I mean, when I first time saw it, I was impressed. And the beauty of the whole thing is actually it works for any systems of any size. You can take a system of three times three. You can extract the principal determinant, left hand side, compute it. If it happens to be non-zero, you will have a unique solution. Then you can take this principal determinant, remove the first column, fill it with the right hand side. That would be the determinant corresponding to the first unknown. Computing that and taking the quotient with the principal one will give you the solution for the first unknown. Taking the same doing sorry, doing the same trick with the second column will give you the second unknown. <laughs>